Okay, here we have angle A and B are supplementary. That means measure of angle A plus measure of angle B. You can write it. It's another way to write the angle, by the way. It means they're adding up to equal 280 degrees. Okay. So in this case, for part 3, they want you to find a measure of angle A and B. If angle A is equal to 5x plus 2, so in this case, you have angle A. This is, this is my angle A. Measure of angle A, I'm, I'm writing it like this. It's angle A and this is angle B. With little hats on top of it. So angle A is equal to 5x plus 2 plus angle B is 9x plus 10. So this sh these two should add up to 180 degrees. So all I have to do now is to solve for x. So here I have 5x plus 9x that adds up to 14x. Here I have 2 plus 10 that adds up to 12 equal to 180 because they're supplementary of each other. If it says complementary that would be equal to 90. Okay. So now I need to solve for x. I need to solve for x. Here I have 14x. 14x is equal to 180 degrees. If I subtract 12 from both sides of the equation, then I would get 180 minus 12. That would give me 168. So 14x is equal to 168. Now to solve for x, I need to divide both sides of the equation by 14. If I divide both sides of the equation by 14, I would get 168 divided by 14. That gives me 12. So I know my x is equal to 12 now. So measure of angle A is equal to 5x plus 2 must be equal to 5 times, now I know what x is, 12 plus 2. So I can calculate that, I can say 5 times 12, that give me 60, this is 60, plus 2, so that would be 62. So the measure, measure of angle A is 62. This is 6, 62. This is 2. Okay, the measure of angle B is equal to 9x plus 10. So now it would be 9 times, remember the x is 12 still, plus 10. So I get 9 times 12, that give me 108, 108, plus 10, this is 10. That would give me 118. So the measure of angle B must be 118. So these are should be degrees. I'm just going to put a little sign degree signs there. So for the next problem here, problem number four, the measurement of angle A is equal to 20x plus 4. The measurement measurement of angle B is equal to 5x minus 13. It's just different expression. But the idea is the same still. Angle A 
and angle B they're supplementary of each other. It means still they're going to add up to 180 degrees. So for, for number 4, instead of A being 5x plus 2, you're going to substitute 20x plus 4 and add that to 7x minus 13 and then let it equal to 180 because they're supplementary of each other and then you solve for x. Once you solve for x, you get a different ang answer for x of course here. Then you substitute for each x here that number and you can find the measurement, measurement angle A and B. So I'm going to uh, ask you to try this and see if you can do it on your own before I show you how to do this one.